Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. I am doing the monster mission, fish monster mission. We've got lots of different missions across Fishing Planet. We've done completed every single mission in every single lake. Here we are in the Everglades. This is to get the Terra, the Terra, um, Terra Tarpon. That's what we're going for. But first we need to get the Bassy Bait. So I'm showing you that. You don't have to have the same setups as me as long as you're using the same hooks and the same bait. You'll have a good chance of catching these these small fish. You've got to catch bass under one and a half pounds. So that one counts. So about all the rods going absolutely bonkers. <laughs> this is a really good spot. So I'll show you on the map there. That's where we caught it. Yeah, this is a really good spot for bass. Um, as long as you keep on using the same hook sizes, hash one seems to be the best and using red worms as well as red worms also the, um, oh, what was the other worm that I used, I forgot, we'll see it. Just keep an eye on the top right of what bait and hook I'm using and obviously look at the time that I'm fishing for these early morning seems to work quite well. Quite constant, you do catch a few other fish as well and obviously you catch some bass a little bit bigger but the main part is we need to catch five of these night crawlers. There you go. So red worms and night crawlers. They're the two baits that I use that seem to really work. So that one counts as well. We need five of these to get the to get the bassy bait to catch the terrifying fish, terrifying tarpon. I've never actually caught it before, so this is the first one for me. Um, anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this. I just use the mic, I randomly hit record. They always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. But you could always check out across the channel other missions that we've done. We completed all missions all across Fishing Planet and as well as missions, fish monster missions as well. So you can check out for those as well. Anytime there is updates on this game, I download and store as quick as I can. I start up a live stream if there's a new lake. If there's minor little small fixes, then obviously I just do a video and let you guys know about them updates. But if you are interested in Fishing Planet, that's a good reason to subscribe. Make sure when you hit the notification bell, it says all. Because when the updates come, I'm going to keep I keep checking it every day for updates. As soon as an update does drop, I'll let you know when the update's coming. I'll let you know what's in the update. And obviously, I'll always buy the new DLC to get into the lake. And as well as the new lake, showing new rods, reels, tackle, um, showing you how to catch new unique fish, uh, what bait I use, and the the hot spots as well we've got different videos of hot spots on different lakes you can check those out but when the new lakes come out i'll show you the new hot spot how to catch the new unique fish how and where and what tackle and setup and everything that i'm using so kind of waffling on a little bit just because this one was it didn't take too long but we kept catching a lot of other fish that wasn't the same size as what we need definitely a hash one hook seems to work best better than anything else I did try other hooks but you yeah, we keep catching bass too big <laughs> I, I don't normally try and catch small fish so that's what made this one a little bit tricky I'm so used to catching the bigger fish all the time but um, it was nice doing this mission I did enjoy it it was good fun just um, a little bit time consuming I wouldn't say too long probably real time probably took me around about two hours ish maybe could have been less than that if I knew where the fish were straight away. And I knew the right hook, but I didn't. And I managed to find this spot. Uh, I don't think anybody else has actually shown this. I did look across the YouTube just to see. I don't know about Twitch, but on YouTube there isn't anyone showing how to get the bassy bait. So, me showing you how to get the bassy bait first rather than just catching the tarpon. Obviously, it is really helpful for you guys more than anything else. Because I did struggle at first. I definitely did struggle because I couldn't catch a fish smaller than 1.1 pound. I just kept catching bigger fish. And then I decided to go with the most smallest hook on the game, which is the hash one. And then I put on some night crawlers. I was going to use shiners. In fact, I did use shiners. That one counts as well. I did use shiners. I did use small minnows. And again, them baits are too big, so I'm getting big fish. But I did notice that I think it was the night crawlers that said it catches bass. So that's why I put night crawlers and red worms on. And both of those did work. So my float setup, as you saw, was just there. So Everglaze at Bassy Bait. That's what we're going for. We need one more, and then we'll get the Bassy Bait. Then after that, in Fish Monster, um, under the missions, as you can see, I'm fishing up there. That's where it's lit up orange. That's where my guy is. Yeah, so once we get the Bassy Bait, we will then be able to go for the terrifying... I think it's called the terrifying... 
or the terror terror or the terrifying <laughs> tarpon yeah so i'm interested to catch that normally the tarpon in here go up to around about 30 40 ish pounds that's probably the biggest i've caught in this place obviously in blue crab island they go up to 150 pound which is um a lot more fun to catch but i'm not sure how big this tarpon is going to be i'm guessing it's definitely going to be bigger than 30 pounds so you're going to need half a decent rod either a big ally rod um the majestic ro uh, float rod in fact, that's what it's going to have to be. It's got to be a float rod because you've got to catch it on a telescopic or float rod. So either the Spell Launcher, which is the best float rod on the game, or the Majestic Majesty rod, uh, which is classed as a match rod as well, which is also another float rod. That will also do the job as well. You probably could do it with a different type of float rod, but they're the two float rods that I'm going to be using. I did also use Shrimps, as you can see, but that kept on catching me a lot of the Butterfly and we need the we need the normal bass not the butterfly bass so yeah they're probably not a good idea the prawns or the shiners but the red worms and night crawlers they do work really good so there we have it young large mouth bass that's now going to give us the bassy bait there we go that's what we needed mission accomplished so bassy bait after the bassy bait which we now have i'm going to change the hook and I'm also going to change location because we're not going to catch tarpon here. And we're definitely not going to catch tarpon with the with the hook size that I'm using. For most of these fish monster missions, I have used the hash six slash zero six ot hook, as some people say. Yeah, that's what I've used for most of these missions, and that seems to work quite well. As well as that, fishing in the night time for catching these fish monsters. I've noticed that the nighttime works better as well. You could also catch them in the daytime. You don't have to catch them in the night. I just always go to the night because I feel like that's the quickest way to do it. I could be wrong, but it does feel like it It works quicker that way. So leader is set at 29 on this Majesty rod, as you can see there. Um, yeah, this one actually does put up a pretty good fight. I did catch this one pretty quick. I will show you the location, and I will also set a marker for this fish as well, just so that way you guys can see. So, Barbless Hook gives you that 10% extra XP, even if you don't have premium. It still gives you extra XP, so it's worth using a Barbless Hook. If not, just a normal hash 6 slash 0 or 6 ot hook would do, the, do just fine. It has to be on a float rod or a telescopic rod. Um match rod or telescopic rod and then yeah we have to use the bassy bait this one actually is putting up a pretty good fight it's a shame that the weather's really bad at night but um yeah <laughs> i will skip to the daytime and show you wow 75 pound that's actually pretty big i didn't expect it to be as big as that i thought a little bit bigger but that is quite a bit bigger Four thousand cash not bad so there's the terra tarpon uh, fish monster mission has been complete terra tarpon that looks good so we add that into our bag and mission accomplished everglaze terra tarpon monster fish monster mission 3120 xp 3000 cash two bait coins which is what i'm always after because that's what i spend my real money on in this game i spend yeah i spend an insane amount of money um buying bait coins as well as dlcs so i'm going to set a marker for that which is just there in front of me wasn't very far out you probably could catch it over to the left because i do have a marker over there on how to in fact i have a video on how to catch tarpon as well as that catching other fish in this place so in everglaze if there's a certain mission that you need to do or you're just looking trying to catch fish check out across the channel and you will find it there we also show a lot of new games that come out. I try and put a lot of new games. This is the main game that I play more than anything else. And this is the main game that I keep up to date. But we're fishing over there on the far right. As you can see, my guys lit up orange. That's where we are in Everglaze. So I'm going to jump to the daytime just so that way you can see it a little bit clearer. Because it was terrible. You couldn't see anything when it was that dark. So, um, yeah we're going to cast out there to exactly where it is i'm also going to zoom in as well just so that way you guys can see that a little bit clearer but a 120 foot just beside those reeds there seems to be where i found i found it pretty fast i caught i well yeah i cast one rod there and the other rod i did cast over to the left but casting just straight in front there 120 foot seemed to be where where i caught it really really fast it didn't take long to catch this once i got that bait and I put on that hash six hook, hash six slash zero. As soon as I cast out there, yeah, we caught it pretty pretty fast. It didn't take very long 
at all. So that's definitely the spot for the Terra Tarpon. And I caught it pretty fast, started at 9 uh, nine p.m. And then we had it on by about 9.04, 9.05. So it didn't take very long. Keep an eye out for future updates on Fishing Planet. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Keep an eye out for new videos on Fishing Planet as well as that other new content. Unboxing videos, electric bikes, electric scooters, moto blogs. We do all random different stuff on this channel just to try and keep it entertaining. Keep it fresh. But yeah, definitely Fishing Planet is the main thing that I like more than anything else. Really do enjoy this game. We are family friendly. This game is definitely family friendly. And it's free as well. So nothing better than free. Obviously, you can get to max level without spending a penny. Just the grind is going to be that little bit slower. It's going to take that little bit longer to, to get going. But other than that, we could also catch normal tarpon here from that location as well. Just to quickly show you that. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to drop a like if you are new. Subscribe. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.